hello everyone welcome to virtual reality adventure today you are going to look at the oculus quest generation one the first oculus quest that was released in 2019 around june or july so this is the box of the product as you can see the oculus quest one is here and the controllers the low name of the product oculus quest As you can see in this part there is the logo of facebook as it is from facebook and some warnings some text and some barcodes regarding uh, various kind of serial numbers and the manufacturing date is uh, given here as of 2019 06 and the serial number and in the opposite side as it says that it is the 64 gb version and it has the VR headset, two touch controllers, and triple double A battery, power adapter, eyeglasses spacer, and charging cable. We have been using this headset for uh, kind of uh, at least more than one and a half years, and uh, this has been our daily driver uh, of VR. So it's not inside this box. We will be looking at the quest itself a bit later. Let's just look at the box first. As you can see, some inside parts is shown here. The lenses, some light is flaring out of the lenses. And some games that it launched with. The Veda Mortal series is very good game. The Sports Scramble, that's also a very good one. Dance Central, we have a demo we don't own the original game national geography explorer vr very good quality uh, vr experiences are there dead and buried 2 and also creed rise to glory some great games of the quest and it is the first all-in-one vr headset that changed the whole uh, concept of vr headsets as most of them depended on a mobile phone or pc but the, this headset was all-in-one headset and had all the features that uh, actually the consumers requested. This headset didn't require or it still doesn't require the Facebook account. It only required a Oculus account and it was aged uh, for at least 13 or up. So that was a very good point, a very big point of controversy for the Oculus Quest uh, 2 because you must have a Facebook account for that. So let's look inside the box. Almost all the Oculus uh, products have this kind of uh, uh, top covering and the box is inside that and it opens up uh, in various ways like the Go this one opens up like the Oculus Go one. So this is the box and there is nothing inside this part, just some cushioning and protection. Let's put that aside. This is the uh, place where the headset was and the controllers. We will look at those uh, in a few moments. This box comes with the charger and the battery and all the manual and such. So let's look at that. Let's put this aside too. And this box opens like this. There is this uh, getting started before we start the oculus app uh, link to the oculus lab app and all that and this is the glass spacer for the headset and there is also manuals and uh, chamber for the batteries and some stickers i think i actually don't have the stickers here uh, this is the manual this is some uh, instructions to get reference guide uh, for various kinds of components and the uh, ways to actually uh, use the different buttons and such so let's put that aside too nothing else in this box so let's look at look at the headset itself let's put this away the box okay so uh, we have modded the headset a lot all these years uh, all the two years and as you can see this is the uh, instance of franken's quest franken quest meaning the oculus quest and the uh, deluxe auto strap from htc 
as you can see this is the headset so there are four cameras the oculus quest 2 still have four cameras some notification led is here to show that the quest is on or not and it had a very capable and very good useful uh, ipd adjustment manual ipd adjustment hardware based so uh, any kind of uh, uh, IPD distance uh, users can adjust for their needs some volume rocker and it had uh, as you can see it has two micro uh, small 3.5 millimeter headphone or earphone or jack as both sides we use the deluxe audio straps so we plug this in here and also we have um, velcroed and a power bank to increase the battery of the headset itself we also use the VR cover here we will look at the all because the, all these components in a bit detail now as you can see we haven't used any kind of 3d printing for attaching these uh, supportive uh, uh, supporting uh, segments or hands of the deluxe audio strap with the Oculus Quest 2 we only used velcros to clip this on and also some velcros on the uh, handles themselves glued together as you can see these are move adjustable just simply gripping on the handles together this had the internal speaker however that speaker was of good quality but outside people will be able to hear what we are experiencing inside VR and this uh, deluxe audio strap is much more comfortable than that and more immersive of course <clears throat> and for the power bank here we used anchor power bank and it extends our playtime for more than uh, two hours and then the original two hours so we can continue continue to play or be inside VR for more than uh, around four to five hours. So uh, all of these are manually velcroed. We came up with some uh, concepts that we can use to adjust or hold this um, weight here and it also balances the weight a lot because as you can see if I use here the balance goes here in, on this side but if you just move it here the balance uh, adjusts itself it takes the balance from your front of your face to the back side of your head here so it's much more comfortable that way however overall weight gets a lot heavier because the weight of the power bank gets added to the whole overall weight of the headset itself and also the deluxe uh, audio strap is also very it also adds uh, some weight this one is a small uh, out of bag part to clip on the velcroed part here and as you can see this part can be moved forward like this so we can access the inner uh, components of the headset this is the VR cover and it came with two different paddings this one is of course uh, sweat resistant you can wipe off the sweat easily from the surface it doesn't soak any kind of sweat so it's great for fitness applications and other uh, usually we can we use uh, more than one people like we have a few of us playing continuously on this headset so we just wipe out with some uh, alcoholic uh, spirit or something uh, kind of glass cleaner or uh, surface cleaner to get this hygienic feeling and for the lenses we have protected them with some plastic covering some protection that we got up from aliexpress this is currently on as you can see the light blinking and if i just put our hands here the internal uh, if you can see the uh, display gets lit and also the front side gets uh, led is turns on and this side too this is the power button to turn on and off 
if I click on this it gets off so that's all for this headset let's look at the uh, controllers of the headset we have also modded the controllers themselves as you can see here these are from mount a mammoth uh, hand grip for the controllers these are very comfortable and gives us a, a small uh, lace a foam padded lace that uh, gives up the feeling of uh, like the knuckle controllers from in index a headset it kind of gives a much very very uh, ergonomic and comfortable feeling holding the controllers and swinging them around with confidence because we can just like do like this you can adjust them from here and it also has we also kept the original uh, protective less through the uh, parts that gives access to that so that those who are not comfortable or uh, still just getting started we have double protection for them like this if you they get lost of that this will happen too so that is also great and the battery is kind of inside here it also runs on battery so we need to put uh, this in one out first like this it needs some strength to take that out and then we can uh, get access to the battery and we ha are using some rechargeable batteries from like Analope here it's a very very good battery we have been using for more than uh, like 10 uh, uh, even more like uh, 20 30 times recycled already but it's still running great even more i think we don't have we have lost count about how many times we have recharged the battery of course actually so we do that first then we put this inside like that and we have the controllers ready again so we have two pairs so it also comes with charger we will be showing it to you now here is the uh, charger and the other pair that's already ready to be charged panasonic bqcc55 the model number and it has this charging key plug so we put this inside the socket and all the batteries get charged whenever the controllers get out of juice we replace them with those two and the other batteries go in, goes in here and we just charge it up so we have always have some pairs ready whenever we are gaming or uh, demoing to other people and all that so this is the whole setup of our oculus quest one we have been using it for like at least kind of uh, when it came out we received it kind of uh, four to five months after the release of the headset because of where we are here in bangladesh so that's it for this video uh, a very long uh, but <laughs> look into the original oculus quest one we will be comparing it with the quest two we also uh, Got, uh, we also got hold of another deluxe audio uh, strap so we modded our quest 2 and we'll be comparing the quest 2 franken's quest with the quest 1 franken quest and our next video so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching have a great day